Welcome and welcome back everybody, T here, and in today's video we'll be doing a solo playthrough of Next Station London, a new flip and fill game from Matthew Dunstan. During the course of the playthrough I'll give a tutorial about how the game is played and be sure you stick around for the end of the video where I share my thoughts on the game in general. Without further ado, let's get started. Here is a solo game of Next Station London set up and ready to play. Throughout the game you'll be drawing a total of four different subway routes that will connect various stations and districts throughout the city of London. The game will be played over four rounds and in each round you'll be drawing a colored route based on the writing utensil that you have. So for setup you'll need to take one of the boards and one of the writing utensils. The other three can go to the side in a randomized order. Then you'll shuffle up the 11 station cards and you're ready to go. So on your turn you're going to go ahead and flip over a station card. The first route that you draw will be a connection from your starting station matching the color of your writing utensil to a station that shows this symbol. So for purple we can go from this purple square to this square or up to this square as well. When drawing a route, you'll follow along the gray dotted lines starting at either end of your routes. The only exception to this is if you get the railroad split card, which we'll see throughout the playthrough. It's important to note when drawing your route that they cannot ever cross through a previously drawn route, although you can connect to stations that other colored lines have visited. These will be called interchanges and will actually get you points at the end of the game. But you cannot visit the same station twice with the same colored routes. The round will continue until you've drawn all five of these pink cards. At the end of the round, you'll go ahead and score your route. The first thing you'll look at is how many different districts your route has visited, which are indicated by these yellow boxes. There are nine main districts, and in each corner, there's a single station at the secondary district. You'll write that number underneath in the district section. Then you'll multiply that by the number of stations in your most visited district. And finally, you'll get a bonus for each time you cross over the Thames River, a flat two points each. Additionally, you'll notice that there are these stations that have special star icons around them. These are tourist stations, and you will cross these off as you visit them throughout the round. Then you'll switch out your pen, shuffle up the station cards again, and play the remaining rounds. At the end of the four rounds, you'll receive all points for your routes, all points for visited tourist sites, and points for your interchange stations. These are stations that two or more colored routes have visited. You'll tally all three of those different items up to receive your final score. That's all we need to know to get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle up these cards one more time for us. And we'll start off here today with our purple route. So our first card is going to be the, a square card and it is pink, so one of the five. I think we want to go ahead and set ourselves up to be able to cross the Thames here. We're gonna go ahead and flip our next card. All right, this is a joker, a wild card. So we can go ahead and connect now either from this end of the station or this end to any other station we so choose. I think we'll go ahead and try to maximize our stations in this district. Okay, then we have a triangle, which is where we just went. Now, if you ever can't or don't want to draw to a district, then you will simply pass. There are no triangles. Oh, there's one I can connect to over here that does kind of cut us off in the middle, but it also gives us two points for crossing over the Thames. So we'll go ahead and draw that. Okay, we have another pink card, which is a wild. So we are going to go ahead and we could connect to Central Station, which is a wild, and it's also a tourist site if we so choose. That might be a really good point to try to rack up some interchange bonus points later on or we can cross the Thames again and get this tourist site here, which is more out of the way and might not block us off as much later. Continuing on, okay, this is our railroad switch card. So again, for this card, we're going to be able to branch off from any previously drawn station, whether it's at the end of a route or not. And that will be for a Pentagon. So I could make this little connection here over the Thames if I so choose. I could branch out into another district if I want to do that as well. I think we'll go ahead and cross over the Thames again for those two points. And it gives us another um, point in that district. And then we have a Pentagon. So from there, let's see, there aren't any Pentagons here. There aren't any here. Again, here I can't connect back to a district that I've already visited with this color. So that is a no-go. I could come down. I could go to this district here. We have three of five pink cards. So our round is 
probably more than half over. I think we'll go ahead and use this opportunity. Oh, this isn't the end of my route though. So we'll go ahead and use this opportunity to connect to Central Station. Okay, and then we have a pink triangle card. Um, so I'm gonna slide these up here. Let's see, we can go ahead and connect. Oh, we can't connect there from here because there's not a spot. And this route also doesn't connect to any triangles. This route does connect here. And this will be a um, really nice interchange point because green starts there. And we have our last card, which is the pink circle. So we could cross into this district here to get another multiplier. All right, since we have our five pink cards, that's gonna be the end of the round for our purple routes. Let's go ahead and see how we did. So for districts, we do have one station district, two, three, four different districts. Our most visited district is this Western district with one, two, three, four, five stations. And we've crossed over the Thames one, two, three times. So three times two is six. We're gonna multiply the first two for 20 plus six points. And not to mention, oh, I almost forgot to cross off Central Station here as another one of our tourist sites. We did get points for each of those tourist sites visited. So now I'm going to swap this out for a new marker, reshuffle up our cards, and then we'll get started with our green district here. Alrighty, so our first card is going to be a square station. And again, we're starting at the green spot um, for this particular line. I can't connect to any other purple stations that have a square. I can't go through or alongside a purple station either. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up. This is really kind of, I mean, I could go all the way across, but that really cuts me off. Hopefully I'll be able to connect to some more stations here. We have a circle from there we could go. Um, I could go all the way up here, which brings me farther away from those connections, or I could go here, which um, gets me an interchange with this purple station and an additional district. Okay, moving on, we have a square district. I'm going to put the pink cards out a little bit. I could go up here, but that really cuts me off in terms of drawing this uh, left side of my line because then I don't have a lot of places to go. So instead, I might actually want to pass for once. Oh, or we can draw a central station, which is wild. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay, moving on. Oh, we have a wild here. So the question is, do I want to work my way back up? Do I want to come down to try to cross the Thames? I think we'll go ahead and work our way back up. And of course, we want to mark our tourist site for Central Station, of course. Okay, we have um, another pink card. We have a Pentagon. I can connect to this tourist site. Seems like a pretty good idea. Cross that off right away so we don't forget. <laughs> and we have ooh, another pink card, a wild. So do I want to try to combo more in this district? Do I want to get an additional district? I could go up here to get uh, this district up in the top corner as a bonus, which would be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And then we have a railroad switch card and it will connect to a triangle. So I can start anywhere and connect off of that if I so choose. So I could do this and get another interchange, which would be great. Okay, and then we have a Pentagon. Um, I can connect here in this district. I can connect down here to maybe get across the Thames. I could go from here to nowhere. <laughs> so maybe let's work our way down. Or do I want to try? Yeah, I only have one in each of these districts. So let's work our way down and see where that gets us. Um, right here. Because we played the switch, this does count as an end. And unlike where you can't cross through another line, notice that because it's at a station, it's an interchange point. So we can then connect and continue out of there. Hey, we have a circle card now. 
so we can go down we can that's really a, kind of our only option here so we're just going to keep continuing down and we'll see what we get it is our final pink card which is a triangle and we can cross the themes just once um or we can get an additional district right now we have three districts times one two three four stations in this district which is 12. so we could do three times five which is 15 or we could do four times four which is 16 so that's one more point but this does give us two points for going through our themes river so we'll go ahead and do that okay so that's the end of our green line we have one two three four different districts Again, the corner is a tiny little secondary district. And we have a total of one, two, three, four, five. Um, oh, I think I miscalculated. I forgot that district when I was doing that. But we have um, five stations in our most visited district. In addition to that, let's see. We've crossed the themes only once for two points. We've marked off our two spots already. So this is 22 points for this round. That was a pretty lengthy round where we got all five pink cards. All right, we'll go ahead and shuffle up our station cards and move on to our blue line. Okay, there's a lot of unused real estate down in the bottom left corner of the board, which could be good for spreading out, but then we won't get interchange points. First card here is a triangle. So starting here, we can already get an interchange, which I think is great. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. And we have another triangle. <laughs> okay. Where can we go? I guess I have to connect down here. That looks like the only really viable route at this point. So we'll go down south. And we have a pentagon. So we can connect. I really want to get this one here. We can connect over in this middle district as well. Um, That's a circle. That's a circle. So I guess I probably jinx it by saying that this is very open. <laughs> we have a circle station. We can connect here to get this, but then I can't use this bottom right part of the board, which is a little concerning. So is it worth it for the two points or the district points as a multiplier are probably going to be worth more than two points. So I think I'm going to, ah, oh, but that couldn't be a multiplier if this is our most visited district. Ah, it's so hard to choose. Um, oh, we can also connect to this circle, which goes over the themes and gives us an interchange. All right, not even going to think about it. And we have a wild. Oh dear. Maybe we should continue up this way to try to get to Central Station. I think we have a switch card for a Pentagon and that's four out of the five pink cards. It's gonna be a very short round. So is there a way we can get an additional district using a Pentagon from any spot? We can go here, which doesn't give us another district. Um, unfortunately, I know I can go there because it's a while, so I'm going to save that. Even if the last card is pink, we'll be able to visit Central Station. I don't see another way we can get an additional district, so maybe we can visit... Oh, if I go here... Blue and green are best friends, apparently. <laughs> we'll get another interchange. We have a square now. So for squares... A Again, I don't see a spot where we can go. So we're gonna bounce off of Central Station here. And then we have, oh, a square again. Okay, great. Is there anywhere from Central Station that connects with a square? Yes, right up here. And that gets a bonus district. So we are in one, two, three districts times our most visited district, which is right in the center. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 18 points there. And we've crossed the Thames just once. Oh, and oh my gosh, I keep forgetting to mark off Central Station as a tourist site. Don't forget to mark off Central Station as a tourist site. All right, and this will bring us to our final pink line. Oh, I should shuffle all the cards together. That would be helpful. So our pink line is going to be our final line here. And the first connection is going to be to a circle station. We're at a circle already. I definitely 
definitely want to get the interchange points for going to Central Station. So we're going to work our way that way over to the left. We have a Pentagon. Okay. Um, I could start working my way down here. I could go all the way up here and then try to come down. But I think we have more space and potential down here. So we're going to start moving our way down. Plus, it gets us closer to the Thames for those bonus two points. We have a wild. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cross over the Thames to the circle. Since we already had a circle too, that'll give us a good opportunity there. Now we have a square. So if I go to this square, I dead end at Central Station, which is not great. Um, I probably wanted to go this way instead, but now it's a little late for that. So this can only connect here as well. We might just go ahead and connect to Central Station and wait for another square card to pop up. Hopefully. Oh, hey, check it out. <laughs> All right, and then we'll connect downward. Move on, we have a circle. Okay, so I can connect from here to nowhere and from here to nowhere. Oh no, I guess we have to pass. That's really unfortunate. Oops, a triangle. Can we connect here to anywhere? Nope. Ah, we can connect down here, but then these two are right next to each other and I've effectively cut myself off because we can't connect to the same colored route. So we'll just continue this one in a downward fashion. Okay, we have a rail switch card with a wild. All right, now we're talking. So I could connect. Is there any way I can get anything really great? I could connect up here to get another interchange point. Um, I could also connect down here to the pentagon, which we've had a single pentagon. I know I'll get another pink pentagon. So maybe we save that. Um, what I could do instead here, I could connect um, from this route to get a tourist site. This might also be my most visited district this round. So maybe we'll do that and get the points. Or do I want to branch out into another district? Mm, so like four times three or five times two slightly more points, but we get points for the site and we can connect down later potentially. So we'll do that. Cross this off, cross off the one for essential station. Oh my gosh, this is like the thing. Now we have a triangle. Okay, that's where I just connected. That feels awesome. And I can't connect to a triangle. The only one is here. This one connects nowhere. Oh, pink line, please. And our pentagon will go right down the Thames. And I should have known that was a triangle based on the cards that are out, um, but it is what it is. I could have connected down here and then up to the triangle. Oh no, okay, that's fine, everybody. Nobody panic, it's fine. All right, for our pink line, we have one, two, three different districts. Our most visited district is the easternmost district, district with one, two, three, four, five. Oh, pink, why? That could have been four times five. And we have crossed the Thames two times for four points. And we only have those two tourist sites correct. Okay. Oh, I forgot to add up my blue line. Whoops, 23. And for our pink line, we have um, three times five is 15 plus four is 19. It could have been 24 though. <laughs> and we're going to add up those scores. So quick math. So we have 26 plus 22 plus 23 plus 19 is 90. We have 14 points for our tourist sites. And let's go ahead and count up our interchanges. So this is uh, interchanges with two different colored routes coming through them. We have, da, 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 da. Uh, this one has two. I'm just gonna put a little X through it or like a little. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, that's not bad. That's 12 points since it's two times six. Then interchanges with three going through them. Um, I have all four here. I don't have any threes. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
Oh my gosh, I forgot these two over here too for green purple boy. We have eight times two, excuse me, which is 16. I don't have any threes, I don't think. And then we have central station, which has all four um, for nine points. These are zero and this is going to be 25. So we add together these three here and that gives us a total of 129 points. So if we check how we did for our solo mode, it says, wow, you're a real supervisor. It's great to see so many satisfied travelers. You're nearly there. So there you have it. That is a playthrough of Next Station London. I'll start by saying I'm not typically the person who jumps on brand new games. I like to see how they play out for a while, see if people are still talking about them after a couple months or even a year. I'm definitely not very cool to the new when it comes to purchasing board games. However, when I first saw this game, I was really intrigued by the bright, vibrant colors. I saw that it was a flip and fill. I saw that it was route building with the subway station. It really kind of gave me Metro X vibes, but with a really gorgeous packaging. And I know that that's not necessarily a good reason to buy the game, but it definitely caught my eye and put it on the map as a game that I had to look into ASAP. Looking into it, I then discovered that it was very similar to a lot of similar flip and fill games like Metro X, maybe a little bit like railroading, some of my all time favorites that I get to the table, not just solo, but with others very regularly. And I really like how Matthew Dunstan kind of changed things up with this one, where you have four different routes that you're going to be tracing and keeping track of. Now, I will say that having the different colored pencils, or if you laminate, in this case, markers, I understand that that can be a little bit frustrating and it can be hard to find a workaround like drawing pattern lines or something like that if you don't have the colors. But I think for this game, it works really well and the game does come with colored pencils just for the regular version that will hold you over for quite a while, I believe. And potential challenges with writing utensils aside, the only thing I really wish that they would have done a little bit differently is that all the sheets are are double sided, but it's the same map on both sides. I would have loved to have seen some different route connections or maybe even something just like different starting points for the different subway stations rotated around or something of that nature just to switch it up a bit. That being said, there's a lot of replayability in this box. I think even with just the base game, the order in which the cards come out, the order in which stations you do, do you go in a clockwise order? Do you go diagonal? Do you go, you know, it's just there's a lot of different potential for just the the basic game. And not to mention, although I didn't show it in this video, there are public objective cards that you can put out, which will give you certain goals each game, very similar to Railroading Challenge. If you enjoy that, it does provide a little bit more player interaction. And there are the pencil powers, which are really souped up and add a lot of cool little twists to the game. Overall, I think this is a fantastic game if you love solo gaming. I think this is a really cool one that you could bring to game night and play with friends. If you have younger kids who are into games, this one is a little heftier, but if you know you want an upgrade from like Game Rights version of Metro X or you want something a little chunkier where you have to plan ahead that also has just an absolutely gorgeous presentation, then definitely check out Next Station London. And that's all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed the video, as always, please feel free to leave a like down below and you can also subscribe and click the bell for notifications anytime I upload a new video. And if you have any other solo party game suggestions, any flip and fill, roll and write style games, it's one of my favorite genres. So put those down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts and what games you have been enjoying lately. Thank you as always for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye. You on my best friend.